Hello everyone, this is Vervin here and today I'd like to talk about how to optimize your starbase. So, as you can see here, I'm flying through my own starbase, which is a hundred rings long, which is the maximum, and each ring can contain six modules. So, um, you can build a lot of stuff, but how do you find out how much stuff you can build and what exactly you would like to build? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to go into detail today. So. Um, in my previous video about the star bases, uh, I told you that you start off with one, one ring and you really kind of want to have a research lab there and a shipyard and a warehouse. Um, but there are several other things um, you want to take into account. And today or yesterday there had been a very nice post on the forums by um, Xenoph Xenophon, Xenophon, something like that. Um, and he has been putting in a lot of work into making a spreadsheet which is this one. And what this spreadsheet does is several things. First of all, it allows you to keep track uh, of each module you have on your starbase. So you can have a lot of them. And this helps you keep track of what you already have um, and what you would like to build. So the other nice thing is that here are all the modules you can build. Um, you can, for example, say, I would like to have 20 more mining, uh, mining robot factories on my starbase, I can add them to the add new column and it immediately calculates how much iron and aluminium and titanium and carbon I, I would need to, to build this uh, these modules. So that's extremely useful in itself already so you know how much um, resources you need. But it does several other things. It also keeps track of how much power and residential area you need. It also keeps track of water. However, water is not in the game yet, so um, it doesn't do anything at the moment, so you can ignore that. Uh, when you download this spreadsheet, at least at the time of recording, there is a, a little mistake um, that I found that in residential modules, uh, it said, at least when I downloaded it, that they provide 5,000 housing. However, at least uh, what I found is that they produce 3,000 housing. So I changed that in order um, to correct the calculations that it does. Because why do you want to have power and uh, residential? Well, I can show you very easily if I go to any factory I have. So let's say here is my mechanical parts factory, one of them. Then you can see that it produces 39 mechanical parts uh, per day. However, most of this comes because I have power and uh, workers. So you can see that plus six um, parts are produced per day because of uh, connected uh, power, and 23 are from grid connected workers. So those 39 that I produce, actually 29 of that is coming from bonuses. So you really want to have power and you really want to have workers. So this sheet allows you to calculate how much. Uh, power and residential you need. So if I would, for example, add, um, I don't know, 150 superconductive, superconducting coil factories, you suddenly see that I need more residences. I don't need more power because I already have a lot of power on my uh, particular base. I'll show you in a minute. But it says, oh, I need 10,000 more workers. Oh, what if I add 10 residential modules? Then I have enough. Maybe eight? Yes, already five. There. So that's how you can optimize your base by basically making sure you don't add too many residential mod modules and you don't add too many uh, power plants. So in general what people say is you need about one power plant per ring. Like they don't all have to be, you don't need one power plant on each ring. You can also have a couple of rings with a lot of power plants. But in general uh, you would like to have 100 power plants. Um, so when I go this way. Hope I don't crash into anything. Then um, we get to the next important part. So as you can see here I already I have a lot of empty rings here however they all have power plants already. And some are still being in construction one hour and 27 minutes left. And this is um, why I do this is because power plants take normally longer to build than normal modules. They take about a day to build. And how the bonuses work in this game, let's see if I can find a factory again. This is all under construction still. Here's one. It gets um, 
it get plus six from connected power. However, if you don't have enough power, none of your buildings get the bonus. So you, it's 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 all or nothing. So let's say you have enough power for the buildings you have now, and then you add another ring, and on that other ring you add a power plant and some modules. Then the modules might be finished in eight hours, but the power plant still needs a lot of hours afterwards. And then during that time that the power plant isn't built, your entire base doesn't get power and you lose the plus six bonus on each factory. So that will make quite a difference in your productivity. And the same happens for the residential modules. So you really want to make sure you have enough workers all the time, uh, even for your plant buildings, because the workers add 23 to each module you have and you're gonna have a lot of modules that are producing stuff. So you really want to make sure uh, that you have enough power and residence. However, with this spreadsheet, it's super easy to plan it. Like how much workers will I need in the end? And then you can already build the residential modules and you can uh, you can see if that would be enough. So this is extremely useful uh, for both keeping track of your base and actually planning your base to optimize it. Um, it also has a thing here for warehouse space. So all your warehouses are, are seen as one in the end. So if you click on open warehouse, you see all the stuff you have and that's spread out over all the warehouses but that's fine you can just access them all by using these buttons um, and if you want more space well you need to build more warehouses uh, and you can plan that uh, with this cell here um, so there's one more important thing and that's the entertainment complex so I have one of them uh, can go to it um, you, you only need one entertainment complex in your base. However, as far as I understand, you actually need it in order to get um, your bonus from the workers. Because if the bo workers don't have an entertainment complex, they're not happy and they're not going to work for you. So, let's go to the entertainment complex to see how it works. Well, hopefully not crashing into anything. Here it is. I built it here. Ooh. So, as you can see here, uh, it says the restaurants are serving food from the following groups, meat, fruit, grain and vegetables. So, they provide a bonus to your workers if you have all these um, foods in your warehouse. So, you can open your warehouse and I can see here, for example, I have uh, 27,000 tons of uh, vegetables and each food group is consumed at a daily rate of 81 tons. In my case it depends on how many workers you have so you have to make sure that your warehouse contains all these four food groups in order to get the maximum bonus um, however this food I think is not completely necessary like if you don't have it the entertainment complex will still allow your workers to work but it uh, like these things are not very costly and they're definitely worth uh, getting the bonus for so just stock up in your warehouse and uh, you don't have to worry about it like it would take a long time for for my entertainment complex to go through all the vegetables I have in here and they're very easy to stock up. So um, of course the only thing that your uh, that this spreadsheet doesn't tell you is what exactly you should build like which modules would you want and that kind of depends on yourself. I will include a link um, to a Wikipedia um, where there is one suggestion how you could um, make your star base. However, that really depends on yourself. If you want to um, do a lot of colonization on planets that are in terraforms, you need a lot of uh, domes. And domes require a lot of graphene and su superconducting coils. I think each dome requires 5,000 graphene and 500 superconducting coils. Um, so you would need a lot of those. However, however, if you decide you would rather explore a lot, then you could, for example, focus more on core sampling probes that's completely up to you but if you want a suggestion you can find it in the in the wikipedia and the link that i will provide um, another thing that this uh, spreadsheet does is it calculates how many rings you require so i added here 150 superconducting coil factories and that would require 103 rings however you can only have 100 rings so i would need to build less so let's say i would type in 100 then it would be happy. I still have five rings to uh, to put other modules on. So um, I hope you uh, found this uh, useful. Um, this spreadsheet I will put a link in the, in the description so you can download it. 
Um, make sure if you like it to let Xenophon know because he put a lot of time on it. Um, and see you next time.